So I'm standing here in front of the uh, one of these really nice tents. This is a two plus person tent. Two people could easily live in this tent on a Volkswagen Bug. Can you imagine that? Now this is kind of a, a unique rack set up. I imagine they had to custom make this. But you can get one of these things on a really small vehicle. You'd be pretty surprised. Uh, and so we're going to look at the possibility of uh, rooftop tents. Will they work? Will they work for you? What are the pluses? What are the minuses? Let's go inside and meet Ty, uh, who's going to show us around. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're here at Cascadia Vehicle Tents with Ty. Yeah. And uh, Cascadia Vehicle Tents is exactly what it sounds like. They make tents. And not just any old tent, because tents are good, but these are tents that go right on top of your vehicle. And we'll show you some as we go around. So Ty, we're predominantly people who live in our vehicles. Mm -hmm. Would one of these be practical for us? Yes, absolutely. We have people that do live in them year round um, and travel with them in and out of the country, um, all kinds of different climates, um, east coast, west coast, in the desert, in the mountains, in Alaska. So we kind of have people everywhere for sure. Live. And uh, sometimes even families. Yes. You're, we even have some families, you know, with small kids that just pack everything up and hit the road. Um, a lot of them are doing social media these days or they're working remotely and they can kind of be wherever they want to be as long as they have service for a couple of minutes a day or whatever it is and can work from wherever and live out of them. We even have a name for that now, Digital Nomad. Oh, okay. So yeah. uh, they're digital nomads and living out of rooftop tents. Yep. Yes. And Absolutely. so your tents have really uh, Stood the test of time. I mean, you're mm -hmm. not just new in business. How long have you been in business? Uh, about eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. Yep. This, and this summer was... I've been here for 15, 20 minutes, and you got steady flow of customers. Mm -hmm. And I'm in. We're in Oregon. Yep. Uh, home. Your home okay. base. Yep. And uh, everywhere you go in Oregon, you see CVT tents. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're here, based out of Bend. Our warehouse is here, and then we also have a new store in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So we, it's actually a CVT store that's over there for the East Coast. So that's kind of gaining, gaining speed and picking back up and, you know, getting more known over there. Because we are known for sure on the West Coast a lot more than, more right. so than the East. But it's gaining. But you've sold enough. You've been in business long enough. You know your tents are durable and reliable. And you can buy one and even live in it for many years to come. Yep. As long as you take care of them, keep them dry, you don't pack them away wet. Um, and you know, keep that mold off of it by doing that, then they seem to last quite some time. And you basically have four models, and we're yep. just going to stand in front of them. Yep. And uh, we, right over here in the gap is, yeah. the, is the base is model. The, is our Mount Bachelor. So that's going to be our smallest two-person tent. And then up from that, it goes two-plus person, three-plus person, and four-plus. Um, essentially what that means is... Um, two adults, three adults, four adults. So you have room in there if you have an actual two person, people in there, like two people and a dog or three people and a small kid or, so there's, it's an actual true t like three person adults instead of, you know, two and a half people maybe like <laughs> going opposite directions or something like that, like some ground tents are. So it is a true big tent. Right, and so mm -hmm. even for when you say for two, you mean two can actually be covered. Yep, yep. So the bachelor, it, 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 that's why it only says two, because it's two, but it's, it's pretty tight, two. And then once you get to the Shasta, which is the one behind us, it goes to that two plus person, two adults comfortably. Me, my wife, and a dog can sleep in it, no problem, um, and have some rooms to spare to put, you know, some small amount of gear or something like that in there. Right. So. And um, so this. Uh, which is your most popular model? What is so it'll be the Mount Shasta, which is this size, and the Mount Rainier, which is behind you. Those are definitely our most popular two models. Um, they, we have underneath each mountain, there's four different tents um, below them. We have what's called a standard fly and what's called an extended fly. Um, so all that means is the room that comes with it that's not on this one right here. Can, the extended means that it's like this in the annex room, the ladder's inside your annex room. 
where the standard fly is, what, like what's behind you, but essentially the annex room is behind the ladder and back. So we have those two, and then different trim levels. Just like when you buy a car, we have our Pioneer, which is our kind of our base model, still a four season tent. Um, and then it goes to the Summit, um, or Summit Hybrid, which is a um, little bit thicker fabric. You get this telescoping ladder, you get some shoe bags, some different features, bells and whistles of, of the tent. Um, you know, a little bit waterproof mattress cover, an anti-condensation mat for underneath the mattress. Um, some LED lights and USB plugs and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more, some more upgrades to okay. the tent. And what are the pricing? So the, the, four, the four mountains are? Mount Bachelor is the smallest, Mount Shasta, Mount Rainier, and then Mount Denali is the big four person, which we'll see at the end of the line with two ladders and everything. So the price ranges from like the Bachelor, it starts out at 1175 and then for the biggest, best, Denali, which is the biggest tent we have, it, it is 3,500 bucks. So, so this is our Mount Rainier uh, model. This is our three plus person. So you're getting it, that goes from that 56 inches to a 72 inch wide tent. Um, this model right here, as you can see, it's a little different from the one we were just looking at. As far as the overhang, this is just a rain fly over your ladder. Um, and then this has the annex room down below. So essentially, this is a standard fly, is what we call it. So it doesn't ha it has a smaller room back behind, and it's not enclosed when you come down the ladder. So this is a little bit more, little less room. Um, what a lot of people like it if they have a buddy, they have kind of their own separate tent. It's not it's not all enclosed in one, so you can or have somebody sleep in or family with kids. Yeah, the kids or the or parents have each have their own room. Yep. essentially. Yep. So it almost kind of makes two tents or a storage room where this. The extended kind of is a little bit all included in the overall tent size, though. And this so. is a completely enclosed tent, so mm -hmm. it will be bug proof? Yep, the annex room is a little bit less just because you know, there's so many doors, screens, but it is still, once it's zipped up, it is enclosed. Right. So, so and it, has, it has, a floor. has a floor that zips in and out. So if you're in a beach or a nice grassy area, you can zip that floor out if there's not as many bugs or anything, and it does open up. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's really an amazing, uh, amazing deal. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So this is the Mount Denali. Yep. Um, this is, uh, as you can see, it has two ladders on it. Um, this is our added sheet set that you can buy extra now. Um, but essentially, it has the same mat. It has a big mattress in it, your two ladders, and it just gets a little bit wider than what we were looking at. It's still the standard fly that we were just looking. We added another support in the center just because it's a longer distance. Um, so if you do have bad weather or whatnot, it does give you that extra support in the middle of the um, rain fly. And can you put a divider down the middle? It does come with a rooms? divider. Wow. Yep, it does, and there's Velcro patches and then it clips to the interior pole. And so it does turn it into two rooms, right. for sure. Mm -hmm. So you, a family with kids, the yep. kids can be private. Yep, this one you're getting in a little bit trickier of where, what you can install it because right. it's so big. Yeah. Um, so a lot of trailers um, or big vans or a, a longer bed truck. Um, you just, a little bit more requirements as far as mounting this one to vehicles than some of the other ones so that we have. you probably get it on something like a Suburban. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so now we're actually inside one of the lower rooms. What do you call this, Correct. an add-on? This is, we call it an annex room. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, or there's a bunch of, people call it a bunch of different things. Um, but essentially it's just the room down below your tent. Um, it goes from the bottom of the tent down to the ground. Um, and then the different hangout rooms, tents, um, I mean, kind of whatever you want to use it for. Right. Um, it, it just becomes a huge open space. Yep. Almost kind of like a living room, right. essentially, <laughs> is what it is. Um, all enclosed, you have a full zip-in floor, um, four, four full doors. Um, the back one doesn't have a screen on it, but all the other ones have a screen. Um, this one's mainly just to get in your vehicle and then zip it back up. You're never really leaving it open. And, and like you mentioned earlier, your, your uh, ladder is fully enclosed, so it's, it's raining and you mm -hmm. gotta go to bed, or it's raining in the middle of the night and you gotta go to the bathroom. Yep. Yep. Um, you, you're enclosed the whole yes. time. Yes, yeah. I mean, we have a wide variety. People will cook, bat, use it as a bathroom, cooking, um, another tent, hanging out. I mean, I even had somebody use it as, to work on their motorcycle at a race. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can really just do whatever you want with it, essentially. But yes, you come down in your tent and you're in the room. 
And other than the lowest base mount, base model on the batch, where they all come with the annex room? Yep. That's amazing. Every single one. Um, yeah, I mean, we added just, you have screens, it's fully seam taped, um, just like the rest of the tent. And it'll always be the same weight material as the tent also. Um, some of the older models and some, most people don't do it anymore, but a lot of times the annex rooms will be like a rain fly material, so a little lighter weight. Um, but we will always have that same weight as the tent body itself mm -hmm. to give that added little value and strength to it. Right. So, so now we're standing in, in front of, this is a Mount Shasta? Yep, the Mount Shasta. So this is the same size as what we started in, the gray one. Right. Um, this is just your standard fly, so it looks a little smaller, but it is the same size tent sleeping space. Yep. And you have it mounted on a car? Correct. Just mm -hmm. a just a standard old car. Yep, yep. So you can mount them to a wide variety. I mean, we have um, a Mini Cooper. I mean, you've got one that'll fit yep, a Mini Cooper. Yeah. So this one we actually can put. We've put it on a Mini Cooper before. Um, it really is dependent on the rack system on the vehicles. Um, and then as you get into the trailers and some different things, you can really do some custom racks. The main thing is, is we just need those crossbars to mount it to on the vehicle. So, you know, there's a lot of name brand racks out there. We don't make any of our own rack systems. Um, we just sell everybody else's racks. Um, and there's just a million different cars out there. So there's a bunch of different options. But as long as you can get the crossbars on the roof, you can definitely um, mount it to that. So you do have a, uh, a model that's kind of for a pickup. This is on a pickup bed. This is an actual Toyota truck bed. Um, so this is just showing that this, this rack company that we sell um, mounts to a Tacoma grate, and then this is one of our hard shell mounted tents that we, do, we, we sell. So. And how much are these? So these are going to range. So this is our fiberglass one. We're selling it for $2,250, so $2,200, bucks, um, a little under $2,300. It is just a gas strut um, fiberglass hard shell. So you, the clam shell idea is that it just opens up just like a clam. So you just open the one side, pop it open. Um, and then you're good to go. Essentially, you just have to put your spring rods. So maybe two minutes to set this thing up at most. Right. Um, your ladder comes off the, the back or either side, depending on your setup. Um, and then we are coming out with some down the road that will be ABS plastic. So not this fiberglass, so a lot lighter. Um, and then you have a gas or electric strut option with the capability of putting a rack up there for solar panels or bikes or skis or boats and actually be mounted to the top of the hard shell. Solar panel on top of this thing would be pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. huh? Yep, yep, so that'll be coming. Um, we already have some prototypes out there, but yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we should be getting those actually this month. Tell us again your social media. So we have um, Instagram is our big one, um, just CVT, Cascadia Vehicle Tents on there. Um, and then we have, of course, our Facebook page. Um, but really, the, the the best way to know the newest and greatest and all the new, you know, whether it's sales or what's going on is our Instagram page. Um, we really do everything through that Instagram page. Um, Facebook is always gets posted on Facebook also. Um, but you know, we're, we're over that hundred thousand followers on Instagram and, and that's where you're really going to find the newest information. Um, and then we just, uh, last week launched a brand new website. Um, and that's just CascadiaTents.com. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great new website that we have and you can really go in there, interactive. Um, you can see the tents on the vehicle, change the color of the tents, um, kind of just go through everything on there. So it's a good new, new site. For great. Us. Yeah. So if someone's interested and they go to your website and they say, man, that's perfect for me, do they need to come here to see it? No, so we do, um, we're in the showroom, so we will do installs. We, you know, when you get your install, We'll put it on your vehicle. We'll, there is minor assembly required when you get it. Um, and then we'll do a full walkthrough with you. So opening the tent, showing you how everything works, how they work the ladder. Um, but we also ship all throughout the United States. Well, Ty, thank you so much for sharing uh, the CVT uh, story with us and all yeah. the wonderful products you make. I think you are a very possible solution for a lot of people in my community looking for a home on their vehicle that they already have. Yeah. And I think that's a really good solution. Yeah, and absolutely. We're, you know, we're down here in the showroom and then always around the phones and emails to help anybody that has any questions or anything like that. So. Great, great. Yep. So folks, there you have it. Uh, I'd, I'd really encourage you to check out the website, especially the Instagram, uh, Facebook, Facebook page, YouTube of theirs. And 
give them a call, get the information and answer any questions, and uh, give serious thought to uh, a rooftop tent for your rig. And if you get anything out of this video, and I hope you do, uh, like us on YouTube, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.